Rally New Zealand 2007 produced a sensational showdown featuring the two leading protagonists at the time. Championship leader Marcus Gronholm going into round 10 of the season eight points ahead of reigning champion Sebastian Loeb. The pair would win 17 of the 18 stages between them, trading fastest times throughout the weekend. Gronholm seized the early initiative in his Focus RS, making the better tyre choice, ending the opening day 13 seconds ahead of the Frenchman. Day two, Saturday, Loeb made the better tyre call. Hard rubber on the Citroen C4, working better than Gronholm's soft tyres in predominantly dry conditions. The pair swapping fastest times again, Gronholm resisting Loeb's attack until the final stage of the day. So it's one last charge through the final sector. In his bid to maintain the lead he's held since the opening test, he's actually punched a tyre close to the finish. The run flat moose has activated, so it shouldn't affect him too much, but the vibration cause will be a little distracting. The last few hundred metres of day two then, the last chance to hold on to the lead until tomorrow. Can he stay in front? No, what a finish to leg two. Gronholm falls to second. There's now just 1.7 seconds before between the championship rivals. So to Sunday, the final day, seven stages, the opening test, stage 12, Loeb chasing down Gronholm in slippery conditions, looking to retain the initiative in the opening stage. Who has made the best start? It's going to be close. Gronholm's back in the lead. Loeb was 1.8 seconds slower, and it's now the fin ahead by the smallest possible margin. Loeb immediately repaid the compliment, winning stage 13 to snatch the lead back by just half a second. And so to the mighty Fanga Coast, Loeb on a charge. And this is looking good for Seb. Wow, that's a great time from the Citroen driver. He beats Gronholm again, his lead now 2.9 seconds. And still the seesaw battle continued. Into the afternoon, Gronholm marginally quicker than Loeb through the next three stages, but only just the Finn reclaiming the lead in the penultimate test. The pair would go into the final super special three kilometer sprint, separated by just seven tenths of a second. Gronholm giving it everything. He's looked a little untidy through some of these 90 degree corners, but it's understandable when you consider what's at stake. He blasts through the water splash at the flying finish, and now he can only sit and wait. Two small mistakes, but that was, I, I went wide and a little bit touched, the, touched something, but I don't know what I did now. I, I cannot say if, he, if he's quicker than he is. We've never seen the likes of this before. Loeb is searching for the fastest line, absolutely on the limit. I think he's going to be quick up, but is it enough? No, an amazing finish to the event. Loeb is faster on the stage, but he finishes three tenths of a second behind overall. It's an outstanding result for Marcus Gronholm.